Hello and welcome to a brand new video. In this video I'm going to be talking about episodes 1 to 13 of Doctor Who series 10. And yes, I'm including the return of Doctor Mysterio. I know that was the Doctor Who Christmas special of the worst year of Doctor Who 2016 because we didn't have a series of Doctor Who that year. I know we had was Reliable Class, but now has been cancelled. Well, we think so anyway. The ratings are not too good for class. So yeah, I'm going to talk about Doctor Who series 10. And coming in, firstly, in um, my weakest episode of the series has to be The Lie of the Land with six out of 10. Now 6 is not a bad rating, it just means it's the weakest of the series and it didn't have enough good moments to make me go, yeah this is a 10 out of 10. It's just the ending with Bill's mum I didn't really like, I thought that was cringy, I wanted it to happen um, um, some other way. I thought the beginning with, bit with Bill and Nardo was very funny, the Doctor's regeneration was pointless, it was a good moment but it just was a waste of time basically. Missy was there for no reason, it just feels like they're stuck her in. There wasn't enough action with the monks and yeah I'm just gonna stick with a 6 out of 10 because I thought it was the most disappointing episode out of the monk three-parter. So then we go on to Smile, what I'm gonna give a 6.5 out of 10. I would have given it higher because I did enjoy this but um, the emoji bots kind of paid off, they were stupid but they did have a big impact on the Doctor and they just wouldn't give up and I did really like the idea all about uh, the Vardy and that they are inside the walls, I did like that, the connection with Bill and the Doctor was great in this episode, the scenery, um, the acting was okay, the supporting cast wasn't used enough especially the actor out of Royal Family, but I forgot his name. I'm just going to give this a 6.5 out of 10 because I think, it, again, it was one of the weaker episodes and it could have been a lot better, in my opinion. There could have been a lot more to it and, personally, the story just could have been a bit longer. Now, we're coming in with 7 out of 10 with the Eaters of Light classic writer, um, Marlin Monroe with this. I thought it was a good story, but a few bad things about it. We didn't see the um, baddie enough, the creature. I thought the Eater of Light was very good. There was also a lot of continuity errors like the white on the teeth and their hair was looking too good. They were Romans. I don't think they would look that good. And the croak thing was kind of pointless, but it was really cool. And it was, I wouldn't say it was cheesy, but it was just pointless with the whole car thing. I thought Carl was a good actor though, well, definitely the best out of all the Romans. And yeah, I just weren't that bothered about the Eaters of Light, to be honest. Then we go 7 out of 10 again with Knock Knock. Now this was a brilliant story, I wanted to put it higher, but the ending um, was bad in my opinion. They all live, I think they just should have stayed dead, to be honest. But it was okay, David Suchet was brilliant, I wish he would have um, been a body of more influence in the series and being in it more but it was just the regular landlord uh, but he was really creepy the music was brilliant um the b2 kind of things and the um, wooden lady but i forgot her name she was good too and yeah it was a it was a good episode that i can go back on the episode and say hey that was a good episode then we're going on 7.5 out of 10 dr mysterio the 2016 christmas special i thought the superhero thing was cool because i'm a i'm a sucker for marvel films and i really like um, superhero stories i thought it was good it was a bit cheesy but it was meant to be like that i found it very funny and i really enjoyed it it was a good christmas special and i thought it was brilliant and i liked the whole brain things where they split the head open I thought that was creepy and very good and it was a good Christmas special and I did like Nardo in this episode this was the point where I actually start to like Nardo because I wasn't bothered about him in the husbands of River Song. So now we're going on to Oxygen with 7.5 out of 10. I thought this was a good episode. The zombie things were really cool. I really liked Nardo and Bill in this episode. I thought it was good being on a space station. I liked the whole idea of profit. I just thought it was a good idea. And then we're going on to Pyramid of the End of the World, 8 out of 10. I really liked the war and the strategies of it all. I really liked the monks in this. They felt a lot more powerful. What it was all booting up to, but eventually got let down in the live the land. I really liked the pyramids. I just like how this looks, the whole scenery of it and stuff. I like how the doctors stood blind after Extremist. We'll talk about Extremist later. And yeah, we're a good story. So then 
8 out of 10, thin ice. It was brilliant when they went back to the past. The doctor punched that racist guy, Bill, and the doctor were brilliant in this. The doctor had a little speech talking about, I am 2,000 years old, and yeah, it was a really good episode. And then we're going on to Extremist, what is 8.5 out of 10, what I thought was really good. The Monks are Creeping, it's definitely one of the best episodes of the series, I thought it was really good, the Doctor was brilliant and he was also blind with the cliffhanger, Missy was very good too and she was definitely needed in this episode and then 9 out of 10 is the pilot, I thought that was really good, um, Bill and the Doctor were brilliant in this episode, I thought the chemistry worked well, the Heather creature was good, I really liked that she was made out of water and I just thought it was really creepy, a really good opener for Doctor Who series 10, then again 9 out of 10 I would have put it higher but I thought the ending was a bit rushed, but I really like the classic creature, Alpha Centauri. I thought that was a really good cameo. The Empress was amazing, the special effects, the acting, the supporting cast was brilliant. Yeah, Ice Warriors, I really like Ice Warriors stories. And the Doctor and Bill were brilliant. It was kind of an absence from Nardo, but people who don't like Nardo, that's fine for them. And then we're going on for the, to the grand finale. 10 out of 10, World Enough and Time, thought it was brilliant. The side men were creepy. The top knots, that's what they're called when, before they're converted. Missy was brilliant. She was quirky, such a good actor. It was sad to see um, Bill die while well, she doesn't, what well, you find out in the grand finale later. I thought Missy was brilliant. Um, Nardo was good too. There was a classic reference to the third doctor. And yeah, the um, blue guy shooting. Bill was shocking, the whole Mondasi Simon thing was brilliant. And then we got that uh, Master of Dis Disguise, what was a reference to the classic Doctor Who, when John Sims' master came back and says, give us a kiss. And then Leonardo and the Doctor are just shot. And then the Doctor Falls, another 10 out of 10, was absolutely amazing, astounding, whatever you want to call it. The Mondasi Simon were good. See, some people have been saying they've been underused, but I thought they were just used enough. Um, the other side men, like what I call the Iron Man side men, well, the 2013 side men were good, and the Age of Steel side men were um, really good too. I didn't really mind them flying, I know some people don't like that, but I don't mind. Um, the Master, the two Masters were brilliant in this episode. Um, we never see the regeneration of John Sim to Missy, but that doesn't matter. Missy is dead, but I pretty much doubt that there will just be another Master because she's going, yeah, we're just good. And the, um, the whole thing with David Bradley at the end was good. So that's my series um, 10 ranking. Hope you like it. Tell me in the comments what your favourite episodes of the series are. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for video. So goodbye.